Hey, Bruce Boomer again here. More 3D stuff. This is, uh, I want to buy a 3D machine. What do I get? Okay. First off, the sturdiness. It, it has to be so accurate to within a hair's width and no wiggle affects it. So I look at the steel frame on this machine does not have one single seam. It is one piece of s s actual metal. And if I come around, I'll show you that. The other thing is, the, this gantry, the metal I'm showing you, notice we have a motor on this side and a motor on that side. The difference is, here's a cheaper model, so you can see the difference. Notice, not one piece of metal Wiggly, that's not going to be as accurate three-piece that you put together. Again, we look at how many motors. Ooh, this end is totally loose and just on rollers. We have one motor. I prefer the solid gantry that ain't going to ever get out of alignment once it's set up and the dual motors that move up and down what is called the z-axis second thing the actual heating motor you actually buy and replace these things pretty cheap i think these are running me about 10 bucks a head comes with the temperature sensor the heater and the nozzle and everything uh, I replace my nozzles, the little nozzle end, every month with the machine if I'm doing constant runs. They're, you know, maybe 50 cents a piece. So not, don't pay a ton for those better nozzles because you're going to be replacing them anyway. And the biggest thing is a sturdy, sturdy machine. I want a bigger machine. This is a, does about 300 millimeter by 300 millimeter by 300 millimeter. And whereas this is more of a normal machine, which is 200 millimeter by, so, so about uh, two thirds of the size volume will fit into it. Another thing you want to look for your machine is simplicity. A lot of them will be selling self-leveling, auto-leveling, computerized, this, that. But the problem is, I like having levelers that I can adjust the old manual levels because I replace my nozzle that squirts out in my replacement may not be the exact same. Therefore, I can manually adjust and take the kinks out. And ideally, once you get it leveled, it shouldn't be changing a lot. So the idea of paying a lot for this auto level, that if you build your machine right and have it set up right, it doesn't need to be doing all the time. Uh, next things that you might know, wanna know about is features that you find that you don't need. This one has a filament detector, which is a big deal. And then I find out that the filament detector caused more problems than a uh, run out of filament. You can also get ones that have power failure that they'll automatically hold position. Sounds like a great idea on paper, but since your bed is heated to hold the model on there, once that bed loses its heating, the model comes loose and it ain't gonna work if you tell it to come back on anyway, so. Great ideas, but I'm not paying for those extras because they really don't work. So pretty much I want a basic rugged machine, one rugged piece of solid metal, two motors that run my gantry, not one. I want things where I cannot shake, move that thing at all. And the final thing is your bed. The bed on this machine is glass. It has these little teeny holes in it that when it is heated, the plastic adheres to it. When it is cooled, the holes release the model and it just comes free easily. 
These hold so much better. Glass tops like this are something that I will always want in mind just because the model is so better to adhere to it and it holds its shape and characteristics better. Uh, these machines with the quick release, they change alignment, movement. They let your model come free easy, but they don't hold quite as much and that's why they're cheaper. So anyway, that's what I look for. Thank you, bye.